A monarch butterfly is thought to be the most beautiful of all butterflies. The species is dwindling because pesticides are destroying the milkweed plant where they lay their eggs. News Channel 5 photojournalist Mac Mike Radford caught up with a local man who has spent the past two years growing milkweed and teaching others the importance of the monarch. See what's inside. Oh my. See the seeds coming out? Look at that. And it's nature's way of spreading the seeds. A couple years ago, I became interested in why 90% of the monarch butterflies had died. And I started doing my research and I said, the monarch butterfly only lays its egg on the milkweed. Chemical com companies have gone into the major uh, agricultural area and they've developed a spray that kills everything except the beans or everything except the, the corn and the milkweed is killed out everywhere so all over the country we're trying to get the milkweed back because that's the only thing the monarch butterfly lays its eggs on They used to be everywhere, along the banks, in back of the farms, along every strip of land. The caterpillar takes their own skin to make the chrysalis, and it's a green color, and it put glue out to tape itself to the top of this, and they hatch out and become a butterfly. The monarch butterfly spends the winter in Mexico by millions of them huddled together in a pine forest. And when it becomes spring, they start flying as far as Canada. They'll fly four or five hundred miles, and the monarch looks for milkweed. And if she is successful, she'll lay her eggs on the various milkweeds, one on this plant, one on another plant. And when they hatch out, they go through the process, eggs to caterpillars, to chrysalis, and then to the butterfly. It's in my DNA to get involved in projects. So if we don't stand up for the little monarch butterfly and try to do something about that, what are we going to do with all the other nature around us? And all of these are God's gift to us as human beings. We don't own nature. We just are in charge of keeping it going. Wow, that's beautiful. It really is fantastic. And can you believe he is 80 years young? He's getting his message out there too. More and more people are planting milkweed and therefore helping to save the monarchs. Fantastic story there. Great job, Mike, on that. Awesome.